oil to manufacture uncertainty about climate change, in 2006, the entire debate shifted. A tipping point for this came when a Hollywood producer decided to make a film about former Vice President Al Gore's commitment to stop global warming. An Inconvenient Truth, produced by tonight's socially responsible media honoree, Lawrence Bender, has inspired the public to take unprecedented personal and political action to join his effort, and also received an Academy Award, something that I understand is important around here. It wasn't the first time Lawrence Bender's used film to create social change, and it won't be the last. To present Lawrence Bender with PSRLA's 2008 Socially Responsible Media Award is Dr. Dean Ornish. Dr. Ornish also specializes in disease prevention and is one of my heroes, and was among the first physicians to expand our thinking about the health implications of our food choices. Please welcome Dr. Dean Ornish. Well, Erica, you're one of my heroes as well, so I'm thrilled to be here. And I'm delighted to be here to honor my, my dear friend, Lawrence Bender. It's, uh, it's good when one of the people that you most dearly love is also one of the people that you most admire. Uh, some things you might not know about Lawrence that I uh, learned from his, from, uh, well, actually from sources I can't disclose, <laughs> that uh, he began his career actually as a civil engineer. I, it's probably not the first thing you would have guessed. And uh, he graduated with highest distinctions in civil engineering. Uh, and in college, thanks to his mother, Teresa, who's uh, here tonight, if you could join me in acknowledging her. I appreciate that. <laughs> Along with uh, Lisi, the, the mother of his uh, beloved son, Misha, who just turned one yesterday. Uh, Along the way, when he was getting a civil engineering degree, he, um, he learned how to dance, uh, thanks to his mother. And he learned African dance, and tango, and tap dance, and flamenco. He studied with uh, some of the leading dance teachers, like Louis Falco. He performed with the Maine State Ballet. This could be a, a, a trivia question for you sometime in the future, you never know. <laughs> And he hurt his back, he had a bad back injury, which uh, was devastating at the time, and yet, uh, like so many things in life, what seemed like the worst thing possible turned out to be a doorway for transforming not only his life, but uh, the world itself for the better. So, we're also here to honor the Physicians for Social Responsibility, and it's especially meaningful because my cousin was uh, Dr. Bernard Lown, who, who founded the organization back in uh, 1960. For, uh, for which he shared, and as you all know, Dr. Lowndes shared the Nobel Prize in 1985 for his work with PSR and later for the international group. Uh, he, Dr. Lowndes also invented the defibrillator, which is what's used and has saved countless lives for shocking people's hearts when they have a heart attack and their heart stops beating. And it's a, it's a, to me, it's a fitting legacy because the whole country's been having a heart attack the last eight years. And, <laughs> And uh, Lawrence Bender is one of the people who's helping this country's heart get started again. Uh, thank you. You know, film is a powerful way for bringing us together and helping us uh, uh, experience our common humanity. And I also want to acknowledge my wife, Anne, who's helped me rediscover my, my common humanity who's here today. And I say that because I got an award a year, or a year ago and I forgot to thank her, so this is my chance to kind of make up. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, uh, the light in the movie projector that is filtered through the film and creates powerful stories, but it's the light behind all these different stories and characters that's the same. And so it's a good reminder that film is both a powerful way of telling stories and also a helping us remember that, yes, on one level we're all separate, on another level we're all that same light behind that projector. And as you know, Lawrence is a producer's producer, someone who makes things happen. He harnesses the power of the medium of film and the power of celebrity to uh, meaningfully affect social change. And you know, it's, it's rare for someone to have the vision for how to begin healing the world, but even more rare to have that vision and to have the chops to really make it happen. 
uh, and to do it over and over again with an astonishing range of arenas. Uh, as you know, thanks to Lawrence Algor, received a Nobel Prize and an Academy Award in the past year. But more importantly, his film, The Convenient Truth, raised the awareness about global warming, not only for the entire country, but for the entire planet. And he's inspired so many people, countless people, to take action at a critical juncture. And Al Gore's been talking about this for years and years and wrote a book about it, but it wasn't until Lawrence made this film that it really captured the world's attention at a time when our planet most needs it. As you know, his movies have been honored with 21 Academy Award nominations, including two for Best Picture, uh, Good Will Hunting and Pulp Fiction, and they've won five Academy Awards. And that will be enough for most people, or more than enough for most people. Uh, he's produced uh, Kill Bill, Volumes 1 and 2, uh, Dirty, Dan Dirty Dancing, Anna and the King, Jackie Brown, Four Rooms, Fresh, Reservoir Dogs. Uh, his films have raised awareness on important social issues, including racial justice, hate crimes, homophobia, social justice, on and on. He, uh, one of the most powerful films I saw is one of his lesser known ones, which is uh, Voices of the Innocents, or Voces Innocentes, a Spanish language film that was directed by Luis Mandoki. And it was inspired by soldiers who were recruited as soldiers to fight in El Salvador uh, back in, uh, during the war there. And so they, the, the PSR has put together a, a, an example of some clips from his films just to give you an idea of the power and the range of his work. So let's take a look at them now. The debate is over. That the evidence and current analysis of several people today is overwhelming. And it's no longer about does global warming exist, or what are we going to do about it? If you look at a movie like I made, uh, Inc. and Inc. Truth, the documentary about global warming and global war, almost the entire movie is predicated on strategically creating a grassroots warming campaign. And once again, the church, and faith community are here to remind us of another great truth, that the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. If left unchecked, climate change will defile God's will. It will wipe out an entire species of plant and animal life. It will render regions unlivable. It will cause crushing poverty, disease, and misery for the poorest nations and the most vulnerable people. It will be up to us all until the power of our commitment awakens all of humanity to this cause so together, we can begin the long, hard work of healing our wounded planet. We have to act together to solve this global crisis. And the Oscar goes to An Inconvenient Truth. Thank you. 